push the button? Yeah, you can push the button. Ready? <laughs> How does that music make you feel? Happy. Happy? Yes. If you were going to do a dance to this music, what would it look like? <laughs> this music is a woodwind quintet. Can you say woodwind quintet? Woodwind quintet. Quintet. Do you remember what a quintet is? No. That's five instruments. Nice. Good number five. There's a flute. <laughs> a clarinet, <laughs> an oboe, <laughs> a b -b 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 bassoon, <laughs> and a French horn. <laughs> now wait a minute. <laughs> is a French horn a woodwind instrument? No. A French horn is a brass instrument. Yeah. What is a French horn doing in a woodwind quintet? <laughs> That's so silly. Mr. Steve. What are you doing there, Mr. Steve? <laughs> so the cool thing about a woodwind quintet is that there's a bunch of different timbre. Can you say timbre? Timbre. Timbre. It's, it's spelled like it's a funny word. A timbre means that every sound has its own special quality. I have a voice that sounds a special way, and you have a voice that sounds a special <laughs> way. So when I say, hello, that's my timbre. Can you say hello? Hello. Okay, now could we listen and see if somebody else says hello and without looking at them, can we tell who it is? Okay. Hello. That's Mimi. Hello. That was Jack. That hello. That was Opa. That was Opa? <laughs> Why don't we have somebody change the sound of their voice? change their timbre. Okay. Are you listening? Yes. Hello. He hello. <laughs> His voice is a lot lower timbre, right? Who did that timbre? I did. It was me. Who was it? No, you can even do that like on the phone or on um Zoom, right? You could turn off the video and just use your ears to see to do the timbre. Can I do the timbre again? Sure, we can do timbre one more time. Ooh, what do you think the low instrument is? Well, let's listen. Oh, okay. Do you know what that's that is? Um, frying, frying, frying. It's not a frying, frying French horn. It's actually a bassoon. <laughs> Well, this piece um, is by a composer named Ligeti. Yes. Can you say Ligeti? Ligeti. Oh, hey, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know who's going to tell us about Ligeti and the time period he's from? Yes. Dad. Of Why? Because dad's smart. I, <laughs> dad is smart. Check him out. Exactly. Dad is smart. Check him out. Our piece for today is one of the Bagatelles for Wind Quintet by Hungarian composer George Ligeti. This is a piece from the modern period, which begins in the early 20th century and continues through the 1960s or 1970s, when it's displaced by the postmodern period or contemporary period that we're still in today. The modern period begins with a kind of crisis of confidence. Following the First and especially the Second World War, there's a sense that music needs to be rethought from the ground up. And composers take uh, generally two sort of broad approaches to this problem. The first is composers who look to the music of the past in order to sort of figure out a new way forward. We also have composers who think that the solution is not to look backward, but rather to leap forward, to rethink every normal parameter of music completely anew from the ground up. Ligeti, uh, our composer who wrote the Bagatelle for Wind Quintet, 
is uh, an interesting case because he sort of attempts to have his cake and eat it too. He stands at this crossroads and tries to find a way to go down both paths simultaneously. It may surprise you to learn, given how much activity there is in a piece like this, that Ligeti is building this entire piece using just four notes. A C, an E flat, an E natural, and a G. Those are the only notes he allowed himself to use for this whole movement. This is an incredibly novel and very uh, experimental way to approach the arrangement of pitch. We don't have any of the traditional handholds uh, that we would associate with melody or harmony, but Ligeti manages to cast them in a slightly more familiar way by giving us some handholds through uh, the way that he's using form and, uh, and sort of organization. That's all from the History Corner. For me, Dr. B, I'll see you next time. Daddy is smart. Check him out. So we talked about the woodwind instruments. We talked about timbre. Hello. <laughs> and we um, talked about uh, the Mr. Ligeti and the modern time, right? Did we miss anything else? No. No? I don't think we missed anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then say bye again. Bye. Bye.